Hi, it's Maverick Hayes. Here's what's coming up. Hey folks, I'm your driver this afternoon. How's everyone doing today? Good, so good. Good, I'm kidding, I'm just a YouTuber. Yeah, sorry. I'll take you for a ride on an amphibious vehicle that goes in land and water. Plus, I will test up my nerves on this crazy ride. Stick around to see if my fireworks hit this water tower. And I will also do another restaurant review. Please hit that subscribe button and get ready for a crazy Independence Day holiday weekend. Hi there, welcome back. It's Maverick Hayes. I am in Wisconsin Dells. It is another beautiful day here in South Central Wisconsin. A little overcast, but the temperature is perfect, which means I got to get on one of these guys right here. This is what they call a duck in Wisconsin Dells. You might have seen these in some other towns or some cities across the globe. These uh, were used in World War II, and I'll take you for a duck ride. We'll get all the history, all the information on these, and these go on land and water, hence the name, the duck. Wow, this is a big duck. Have you ever looked at the rear end of a duck? Well, it doesn't look like they want anybody back here. This is part of the, one of the duck trails. Like I said earlier, it's a land and water adventure. So they'll take you through some trails and they go over some facts, some made up stories, and it is really a good time. I've done them many times in the past and shortly we'll get on the duck ride together here. So I had to put on the wireless microphone because it's a bit noisy out here as I'm on the side of a major highway. It's an interesting trail that these ducks do. They kind of go back and forth and they just kind of come out. Well, here's one behind me, I believe. They just kind of come out of the forest and they just zigzag back and forth over this road before they drop into the uh, water. They call them splashdowns. So they will do a splashdown in the Wisconsin River. You're all on YouTube! <laughs> they will do a splashdown in the Wisconsin River and then they will do a splashdown in Lake Delton. And when it rains, it pours. It's just one after another right now. The tours are kind of busy, as you can see. And there they all go. So right behind me is Lake Delton. Believe it or not, this is a man-made lake. And in 2008, there was so much rain in this area. One of the creeks that flows into it, it, uh, it flooded and the lake overflowed its banks and went into the Wisconsin River. And this entire lake was drained in about three hours. It's really not a huge lake, but uh, for a lake to be gone within about three hours, that's incredible. So over here is a ramp, and this is where they do one of their splashdowns on the Wisconsin Dells Ducks. And then they just go right in, and you really don't get soaked, but it's refreshing, and it's fun to go from land into the water. And just like that, they're all wet. Getting ready to come out of the water, because what goes in the water has to come out of the water. Otherwise, the, uh, the tourists would not be happy if they were stuck in a duck the rest of their life. And there they go. The duck is coming out of the water as they continue their tour. I think it's our turn to get on a tour. Let's go. Okay, I have made it to the uh, the duck place. Is that the technical word that they use here? I'm at the duck place right now. Getting ready to jump on an original Wisconsin duck right here in Wisconsin Dells. The amphibious vehicles. These things are a lot of fun. So right behind me is the loading platform of the Dells Ducks. I keep calling it the Dells Ducks. It's really the original Wisconsin Ducks, but it's here in Wisconsin Dells. 
it'll be easy to find if you come to Wisconsin Dells. Just look for these giant vehicles that go on land and water. Hi there. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. All right, watch your head there. Okay. Hey folks, I'm your driver this afternoon. How's everyone doing today? Good. Good. So good. good. I'm kidding, I'm just a YouTuber. Yeah, sorry. The driver's back there somewhere still. Hello, <laughs> YouTube! Okay, we got a loaded duck here. I think we're getting ready to go. Alright, how's everyone doing today? I know it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome aboard the amphibious duck game. My name is Ashley, and I'll be your pilot, tour guide, and alligator wrangler for the next eight and a half mile trip. Half on land, half on water. This is that road that I was uh, vlogging on earlier when I first started this video. We're on the side of this road. It's a little, a little bumpy in the back this here. Big green quacking machine you guys are currently riding in. Jane was built back in 1942 at General Motors in Pontiac, Michigan. Originally constructed at a cost of around ten thousand dollars. She was used in World War II as well as parts of the Korea conflict to carry troops and supplies to shore. Measuring in at 8.2 feet wide, 9 feet tall, and 32 feet long. Weighing in at a slim but slender 7.5 tons. And just like that we are a boat afloat the Wisconsin River. Looking out the back of the duck here, you can see the, uh, the prop down there doing its job. coming up to our now second splashdown and this is where I was filming cool. earlier when all the other ducks were going in. Hold on. Whatever's dripping from my ear right now is not from the lake. So if you haven't yet, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. I would definitely appreciate it. And if you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in more about the original ducks here in Wisconsin, I've got a link below in the description too. If you guys think that this is tight, just wait till we go over that bridge. I almost clipped my camera. On behalf of the original Wisconsin Ducks, I'd like to thank you all so much for coming out and taking my tour today. Last but not least, right? Yeah. You want to say hi to you too, Ashley? Hi, you too. She did a great job thank on the Dells so Duck much. Tour. <laughs> Ashley gave a, a great tour on the Wisconsin River and Lake Delton on one of these amphibious vehicles. I'm sure she'll be looking for herself on YouTube. If you are in Wisconsin Dells, may I suggest that you stop here at the original Wisconsin Ducks. It's a great time. It's uh land it's water cheesy jokes but it's a lot of fun as i uh, record this on fourth of july happy i guess late fourth of july by the time you see this i am in downtown wisconsin dells duck rides are a good time and i will be headed to uh, a couple of extreme rides one of them is on the other side of town which i'll check out in a bit uh, a little later in this video but i thought we'd check out what's going on here in downtown wisconsin dells on independence day How's your 
4th of July going. I'm in one of the stores here in Wisconsin Dells. I came across this guy, this guy, but I gotta show you something funny about him. Hey, I thought it was funny. What do you think? Is it my size? So what's your name, buddy? Matthew. Matthew, remember, subscribe and like the channel, right? Just hit that sweet button. Take care. He's Salute. Salute. Take care next day, everybody. That's the My latest channel. subscriber. She is very still today. Look at this. But she will move. Because there's lightning in the forecast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So as I'm walking around downtown Wisconsin Dells here, my stomach's saying, hey, it's time to eat. And I came across monks here. Now, if you don't live in Wisconsin, you have no clue what monks is, and it means nothing to you. But the original monks that started it all, of the, I think, five or six restaurants that they have now in Wisconsin, is the one right behind me. And what they are known for, they call them monks burgers. And I guess the best way to describe a monks burger is like White Castles. And you're probably familiar with White Castles, and if you've had White Castles before, the little sliders, these are bigger than that, but they have that fresh grilled onion taste. A pretty big bar in here. So it's basically your college style bar. I'm on the uh, upper level right now. And right over there is the grill that they cook on, the original since 1947. It's got lots of seasoning on it. A chicken taco basket. That is very unique looking. Although I'm sure chicken tacos is not a unique thing, just something I don't order. And here is what I was talking about outside here, the Monk's Burger. And there's the grilled onions in there. It's a very distinctive taste for a cheeseburger. It's not your everyday cheeseburger. They've got their own ketchup brand here at Monk's. Just slapping a label on, I'm sure, but uh, doesn't say who makes it for them, but we'll go some monks monks ketchup and spread the ketchup all over this very unique burger. American cheese is what I put on mine with the uh, grilled onions. I did not go with the tomato or the uh, lettuce or anything else. This is good. This is good. It's a good burger. They've been uh, grilling them since 1947 on that grill, the original grill. But I would still have to say White Castles is better. Behind me is the uh, Wisconsin River as we approach dusk here in downtown Wisconsin Dells. And it's a really neat area. If you follow the channel, you've probably seen it in previous videos. If you don't follow the channel, do me a favor and subscribe as well, and you'll see some stuff on the river in Wisconsin Dells in my library here on the channel, and you can always check that out here on YouTube. F-16 flyover Monday, which is tonight, as I record this, 4th of July at 9.15. So we'll be seeing an F-16 flyover shortly. As I wait for the F-16 and walking by, on some of these uh, stickers here and I normally never do this it's just not me but we'll add to the collection I was here faster than Southwest Airlines. Well, that was pretty neat with those fighter jets. And now the race is on to get to one of the uh, resorts out here. Core fireworks.
So I just left the resort that was doing the fireworks and I've got a couple of my own and I thought before I do the big ones, you've probably seen these at Walmart before and this really is not the kind of channel where I review things like this, like products, but let's find out what Walmart has and see if it's worth it as I spent 25 bucks on this kit. Let's see what, uh, what they've got. <laughs> Walmart number one. Don't worry, I promise it'll get better. You probably can't see me. It'll get better. Well, those were definitely much better than the Walmart ones. I would say the Walmart ones were okay. They're perfect for uh, families of small kids and gives them a, a pretty good show. I did not show all of them to you because I showed you the best ones that were in the Walmart kit. So, anyways, so now it's time to jump on the fun ride. Comment below and let me know if you would do this. And here we are wrapping up my 4th of July holiday weekend. I'm getting ready to do the skyscraper. There it is. Let's get that drama again. The, the skyscraper. skyscraper. So this thing stands 160 feet tall. In a moment, when these riders get on, you'll see that it uh, it's kind of like a Ferris wheel on steroids. And then I'll get on it and uh, I'll scream my head off for you. describe the feeling on that. There's weightlessness. There is plunging towards the earth at about 65 miles an hour. There's flips and doing those acrobats. And for me, I think the scariest was actually going forward when I was face down because for some reason, maybe it was just my weight ratio, but I would do the tumbling you probably saw at the top 
and then I would come face face to the ground, just face forward right into the ground. It just felt like you're going to plunge into it until it just whips you back up. That was an awesome ride. It's the skyscraper here in Wisconsin Dells. If you like this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, just like I was doing over there. I would really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because you don't want to miss out on these crazy adventures like this. You'll see me on the next one. Subscribe now.